We have wonderful success with Cosmobot on repeated occasions with kids with sex chromosome disorders, autism, dyspraxia, language-based learning disorders. We use it for all sorts of interfaces, academically, cognitively, developmentally. You know what? Sometimes Cosmobot will come see us if we try really hard to say words. Do you want to try really hard to say some words for me? Really clear. Can you do this? Let's try clapping and talking. Mommy. Your turn. Oh, that was beautiful. He's coming. He's coming. That was perfect. Okay. So essentially the reason people are looking at robots and the technology of robots is that one of the most difficult things to do with children of speech and language delay or cognitive delay is to get them to engage for extended periods of time. And the robot affords an opportunity for them to play right. while they're working. That's right. Cosmo. Your turn. Good try. Now you ready? You gotta touch him. Are you gonna be brave and go over and touch him? Yeah? I'll come with you. We we'll go together. You ready? Let's go together and touch. Hi, Cosmos. Go ahead. Oh, wow! You were so brave. That was good. <gasps> He's going to go all around for you. Can you believe it? He's spinning. Good boy. Can you do it? Absolutely, yes. So all of this um, gives us wonderful, innovative techniques to encourage children to try to do something that's very hard for them, which is to speak. Um, and their ability to try with the robot is tenfold increased than they would in a typical therapy session. And then? Okay. Um, I thought it was pretty interesting. Um, that, you know, when I heard her explain how it's magical and, mm -hmm. you know, to them, I can see that. I can see them be more willing to work for something like that versus someone, uh, you know, a speech therapist or myself, my husband. <laughs> <So>. <laughs>